Hello golf fans, Chris Terrell here. Hope everyone's getting along well uh, with their self-isolation, quarantine, social distancing, whatever you may be doing out there to stay safe right now during these times. Um, unfortunately, we've got no PGA, MLB, uh, NHL, NBA, any of the real sports, they all got shut down. What we have right now, uh, we do have the Outlaw Tour Golf, and what I want to do, uh, I built a sheet for it, obviously. This is week four. Um, since then, with the golf sheet, I'm going to go over a little bit of a tutorial video and just kind of explain a few things. It's very similar to the PGA sheet that I have had out in the past, um, but there are a few little changes I just wanted to go over for some people that may not be aware of some of the things that I use on a week to week basis. Again, it's very, from a DFS perspective, there is a heck of a lot more variance in this Outlaw Tour. One, we don't have a lot of information on the players. Uh, two, it's showdown only. Um, keep that in mind if you're playing Outlaw Tour is it is only showdown, so placing doesn't really matter. Um, birdies, you know, if, if you're unfamiliar with showdown, birdies are king. Uh, eagles, um, that's pretty much what we're looking for, is, is a low round out of that one round and getting those six players. We don't got to worry about missing the cut or anything like that. So first of all, you'll see a lot of similarities, like I said, with the PGA Tour sheets. We've got our list of players here. We'll kind of scroll through as you can see there's 87 players in this field we've got their dk salary we've got their odds to win the tournament that's not necessarily their round one odds so i'm not really looking i look at odds to see kind of who the favorites are for the tournament but as for a round by round i'm, I'm looking at some other stuff in terms of putting it together in a model so then this week uh something that i have changed as well is the official world golf ranking i've factored that in a little bit into the model just to get guys like for instance, J.J. Spawn making an Outlaw Tour. Obviously, he's only ranked 58 on my sheet simply because he doesn't have any form. He doesn't have any stats. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't show up anywhere on the on the Outlaw Tour um, until this week. But we know he's a PGA Tour professional. He's 325 in the world. Um, he's going to definitely be a target for you this week. So that's kind of why I wanted to add the official world golf rankings for players like that are going to be coming down to the Tour. So... Good news with the tour. Uh, this looked like it was going to be the last tournament. They have added three more events for the Outlaw Tour. So that's awesome because it doesn't look like we're going to get the PGA Tour back until, you know, probably at least June, somewhere in there, maybe even July with, with all the other sports as well. So it's, it's just a lot of unknowns right now. So to see the Outlaw Tour going week in and week out and giving us something on DraftKings, uh, I mean, we've been playing a lot of League of Legends as well, which has gone very well for us um, overall. But uh, the Outlaw Tour, for those that are looking at golf, definitely something uh, you maybe want to get into or, you know, continue doing. So something else similar to the PGA Tour sheet, I've got the DK rank and the odds rank, and then the DK to odds differential. Again, I'm not looking a whole bunch at this at modeling round-by-round round showdown for the Outlaw Tour. It's just information that's on there for you to look at. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then moving over, we've got the season form. Um, now this is each player's last tournaments. So this isn't necessarily last week's tournament and the week before and the week before. This is each player's last tournament. So they're all grouped all the way to the left. That's just so I can get a model of their, their last five tournaments and their average finish. Um, it's all from this season, these tournaments. If you do want to see it, I've had a lot of people reach out and ask um, about looking at it from a tournament by tournament standpoint. I have done that here at the bottom, turning by tourney form and it is showing each tournament name at the top obviously where they finished and then the same field um, later today after this video i'm going to add salary on here as well just so that's a little bit easier view if you'd like using this page definitely let me know and i will keep it there maybe even add a few more things to this page going forward so back to the main sheet so that gives you uh each player's last five tournaments and their average finish that's just so that we can throw that in the model as well so then we're going to move over this is just a cumul cumulative season finishes for the players uh so this would be a number of events wins top fives top tens and top 25s the outlaw tour they show the percentage of the time that they're getting top fives top tens top 25 so that's just there as well now you may see a difference in the event number versus what i have for my season former tournaments that's just because i've left out the match play tournament I've left out any of the, I think there was two or three tournaments throughout the year that were only one round shootouts. I've left out those off as well. Um, so then moving over, you got your money list. Just some information to have from the tour and then stats. So when I first started this, I was quite surprised by how many stats they actually have on the Outlaw Tour website. 
it was very it was not obviously as many as the PGA Tour, but still enough to get by, um, and some very important ones as well. So we got scoring average, we got par three, four, and five scoring average, birdies per round, birdie or better percentage. They actually call it par breakers, which is the same as birdie or better percentage in the PGA Tour. That's going to be uh, we'll move over to the model here in a second, but we got par, and then you can break that down even further: par three, par four, and par five birdie or better percentage. So then, same as my PGA Tour sheet, as you'll see in the past, there is the rankings of those actual stats. That's just so we can put it together in a model. As you can see above, I've got 25% on scoring average, 20% on par four scoring. The reason for that this week is just because of the course. It's the Grand Canyon University Golf Club. There are five par fours that are 450 plus yards, three of them that are 480 yards or more on this course so par 4 scoring to me is going to be very important this week I don't think the scoring is going to be quite as um, low scoring per round as we've seen um, over the last few weeks so I do think avoiding those bogeys um, you know doing well on the par 4s is going to be very important and then obviously 40% of the model is going to be birdie or better percentage and then par 5 birdie or better percentage as well so then we've got the stats model, which 60% of my model is going to be uh, stats, uh, and you can always adjust this. I'm going to show you how here shortly. Uh, form, 20% on form, last five tournaments, and then official world golf ranking. Like I said, I wanted to fit that in just a little bit to help guys like JJ Spawn out, who hasn't had any outlaw tour starts, um, but obviously is one of the highest, uh, one of the best players in the field for sure. So if you want to make your own copy and you want to adjust these models, at the top of the page, you can't see it here in this video, but uh, you go up to File, um, you click that drop down, Create a Copy, and Create Your Own Copy, and that will be an editable version of this sheet. And then you can come in and you can erase these uh, numbers up top here, or you can change the overall model over here, and it will adjust your rankings on the far left and the far right. So to get a copy of this sheet, uh, go over to rotopros.com. You can sign up for a free trial today. Um, you can get in and you can get our League of Legends. Um, we've got the Outlaw Tour going now as well. We've got a lot of, we don't have sheets up for the Call of Duty yet. I'm working on that. Um, but we've also been working on, you know, we've got a lot of members that are playing the Counter-Strike stuff. I don't have a sheet up for that either. Um, but we've got a lot in there and you can get my sheets through there. DailyFantasySportsRankings.com as well. DFSR.com for short. I have uh, Chris's sheet page, it's called. You can go to the top menu, go to other sports, find the Chris's sheets page. You can get access to all my sheets for anyone that is a member. Plus, I'm in the chat room there as well. Or you can go over to my Patreon, um, patreon.com slash Jaegerbombs, I believe. I will put the link in the video for that as well. Um, so you can get the sheet in any of those locations. Later today, once the video is done, I'm going to be going through and highlighting some of my top plays on the sheet. Green are going to be your core plays, blue are going to be the secondary plays, and then yellow just kind of um, your value plays, kind of like your punt plays at the bottom, because I'm mostly going to be playing GPP on this Outlaw Tour. There's just a lot of variance and a lot of unknown, so GPP for me. Thanks for tuning into the video. If you have any more questions, hit me up in any of those chats, Rotor Pros, DFSR, or Patreon, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and let's get it this week. Good luck, everyone.